What's going on guys? Today I'm going to go on a long hot walk way out in the middle of the woods to find a certain cave. Because this certain cave is covered in really old Native American cave paintings. It's really cool. I've only been to it once, so it might take me a little bit to find it. But if I can find it, we're going to check out all the cave paintings, hang out a little while, maybe even cook up some lunch on a fire. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, it's going to be a really cool video, so hang with me. It's a really long walk through the woods from my house. So the fastest way for me to get there is to walk down the dirt road or drive down the dirt road, park at the old hunting cabin, walk a ways, and then jump down in the woods. Man, it's hot. Off the dirt road, into the woods. There's a lot of animal bones over here somewhere, over here for some reason. I don't know what that is. Maybe a deer. Oh, look at that. I bet that was a coyote. <clears throat> coyote or somebody's dog. My teeth looks like a coyote though. I don't know. Oh, there's another one. There's armadillo too. Somebody's dumping spot or something. Another dog or a coyote. Whole bucket. Walk down in the woods. Really growed up down here. Nobody's been down here in a long time. Getting steep going down this hill. I hope I can find these caves. I've only been here. I've been down to them once. And that was on horseback. I took a different path. My grandpa told me a shortcut down here, so taking his shortcut and anyways it's really cool there's not very many people probably only a handful of people that actually know about these caves I don't think they're documented on the internet or anything anywhere there's a bunch of paintings on them I don't know how old they are and they're kind of hard to tell what they are not because they're just so faded or anything but it's kind of hard to tell what they are. Like one of them looks kind of like a sun or a porcupine or something like that. I'm not sure. And there's, there's just several of them. You'll have to check them out when we get down there. If I can find it. Fingers crossed. One of the worst things about walking in the woods in the summertime. I don't know if you can see that right there on camera. But about every 15 feet across almost every tree, there's a big old spider web. It's really hard to see them until you hit them right with your face. So, you must gotta carry a stick around with you and do like this the whole time. Oh, I need a better stick. I was hoping there's some water in the creek, but nope. Everything out here is dry and hot as it gets. Oh well. I think I see some bluffs up there. Yeah, there's some big rocks right up in there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's awful thick, but I guess it's time to leave the road. Head up into the woods. Ooh, look at that spider web. There's a big one in there. Oh, I'm gonna have ticks all over me. For sure worth it. I'm already covered in butts anyway. What's a few more gonna hurt? Timber. I think it's pretty dead. We're getting up close to him. You want to know what a jungle feels like but don't want to leave the U.S. Our spider web. Go to Arkansas in July. Oh wait, today's the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Forgot about that. Phew. Well, this is the bluff I've seen from way, way down yonder. It's not it. 
but there's some more bluffs going that way. So I found the bluff line. I'm gonna start walking the bluff line. Let's see if I can find them. Bear with me here. Pretty cool spot for a break. This would be a good deer hunting spot for this fall. It's pretty high up. You can see it for a pretty good ways. Once all the leaves fall off, you can see even further. You may have to remember that. Anyways, here in a minute, I'm fixing to walk over yonder by them bluffs. I'm walk on down that way. See if I can get lucky and find one with cave paintings on it. Hope I can, anyways. Found some more rocks, but no caves yet. Keep on trucking. Oh, spider web. Looks like this used to be an old rock wall at one point. It goes over like this and goes that way. That's kind of cool. There's no telling how long that's been down here. Ooh, down there, that's crazy. I wonder what lives down there. Mm. This one's pretty high up. Let's see what we can see. Oh wow. Whoa. This is really tall. Whoa. I don't know if the camera does this at justice, but we're pretty far up here. I kind of want to go down to the bottom of this. Ooh, look at how far. See if I can find my way down over this way. Maybe it won't fall off somewhere. Yeah, I think I can get down over here. This might be it, I don't know. Looks like I can get down right here. Ooh, I don't know. There's a big hole over there. That's kind of creepy looking. Get down in here, maybe. Hold on, let's go this way. <clears throat> um, maybe this way. Spiders up in there. Yeah, maybe not. Huh. Keep looking around this way, I guess. Some big rocks down here. Go down this way. Gang trail. Looks like the deer been going down here. This might be the only way to get down. A little overhang. It's kind of neat. Huh. Let's look around and see what we can find. That's where we were a few minutes ago, way up there. Some pretty big rocks. But not the ones we're looking for.
Pretty cool little spot. Neat little overhang, I guess. Okay, update. So I just called my grandpa and talked to him. Turns out I was going the wrong way the entire time. I was just going aimlessly deep down into the woods for no reason. So he told me to find the creek, which I did. Found the creek. Oh boy. Found the creek, it's dry. He told me to head all the way back up the creek for quite a ways. So that's what I'm doing now. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it's starting to thunder and it's getting pretty dark out here. I might get rained on. Shoo, I bet there is a snake around here somewhere. The only spot of water I've seen in a long time. Since I started walking, it's the only water I've seen all day. Oh, there's mosquitoes down here. Yeah, I bet there's a snake in there somewhere. Better stay away from that. That's shooting. Nah, I'll leave him alone. Look at that. Tricky feather. That's cool. Stick that in my hat. It is raining. Looks like I'm not going to make it to the cave before I get wet. Not gonna lie, it feels pretty good though. You can already feel the air cooling down. It's a lot better than it was. I'm gonna keep an eye out up here. My grandpa said it should be right up on the hillside, on up the creek the other way. When I started, I went left down the creek and I should have went right up the creek. My mistake? Oh well. It's been a fun day so far. So far. Trails right down there. Or the creek anyways. The creek was right down there. Walking the creek from this way going up. Like my grandpa said and he said to look up the hill and watch for the bluff line. Found the bluff line. Now I'm pretty sure I need to go that way. He ran off before I could get a shot on him. When I was just walking through the woods right here, I had the camera off. I didn't get it out in time, but big old coyotes popped out of the bushes right over there. He's a big one. I was gonna shoot him until 45. But he popped up and looked at me, took off. He went off down that way through the woods. It's a pretty cool ledge up there. Make a good camping spot. Make you fire right in the edge, pitch you a bedroll down in there. See all the way down the hill? That'd be a cool camping spot. I may have to do that in one video. That'd be fun. It's another pretty cool spot right over there. I could totally sit up there and chill out for a while. Going on down the line. I'm hoping I'm on the right track. At this point, I don't even know. I'm gonna keep walking until I find it. Ooh, that's cool. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Help that other spot. This is a good camping spot. Phew. Goes way back in here. Pretty good ways. Phew. That's pretty neat. Good spot to hide from the moraine too. Pretty cool. Deer track. Check out this little guy. Little box turtle. Kind of see him peeking out there. 
Got some orange on him. Pick him up. I see you down in there. I ain't gonna hurt you. Poke out and say hi. Guess he's camera shy. I'll leave him alone. There you go, little buddy. Do your thing. As you can tell, I made it back to the truck. I'm gonna call it a day. It's getting pretty dark. It's about to get dark anyways. And uh, I'm gonna go home, take a shower, get something to eat, get all cleaned up. And I guess I'll come out here again tomorrow and try to do this again, see if I can find it. I'm gonna holler at my grandpa, see if he can maybe draw me up a little map or something. Because uh, I guess I walked past it this time. I don't know. But uh, I haven't given up yet. I'm gonna keep trying. I will catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone. It's actually two days later. Yesterday I went to my dad's house and we talked about it for a little bit and he told me a much easier way to get down there. So today I'm going to follow his directions, go down in the woods, and I'm pretty positive that we can find it today. So hang with me and let's get started. Very important this time of the year. So I've been walking in the woods for a little while now. It's only about 85 degrees a day. It's a little humid, but not bad. Not a bad day to be in the woods. I went over a couple hills and hollers, and uh, I think I should be getting pretty close to where my dad said it was gonna be at, so hopefully I can find it. Check that out. Snapped right off. Yep, that's totally Bigfoot, 100%. <laughs> Bet there's armadillo down in that hole. It looks recently used. Found some more big rocks. So maybe I'm getting close. Looks like that right over there, that little shelf is getting ready to fall off. Like a lot of the times the Indians wouldn't, or Native Americans, sorry, wouldn't uh, make fires and stuff under this stuff because it's prone to falling off. And if that big chunk fell off on your head, you might not wake up the next day. Cool spot. Pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure I gotta go down there to the creek and go up that side and uh, I think it's up in there somewhere. But uh, we'll find out. You'd think with instructions it'd be pretty easy to find a cave out in the middle of the woods, but look how thick this is. I couldn't find a Peterbilt out here. Look at this little guy. Little green snake. They're not venomous, they just eat little bugs and stuff. Feisty. Oh Lord. Back popped. I don't know. I was all up over the top of that earlier. Any other day. Didn't see nothing up there. It's got to be down this way somewhere. Maybe. It's either right over there or over the next hill. If it's not here, it's right over this next hill. But it was kind of. Surely we can find it. Now, since here, I think it'd be right there. It's more on top of the hill, ain't it? Yeah. It's more on top of the hill instead of under the hill, ain't it? Yeah, I think so, but... I mean, it's a little smaller rock. No, it can't be on the hill. It's a little more over that next hill. 
All right, so we need to go up the hill. I swear I walked by this 50 times. Do what? Oh, that sucks. I ended up calling my dad to see uh, if he can give me a little bit better directions, and uh, we couldn't really, he couldn't really explain it, how to get there, because the woods are so thick and all the trees and rocks look the same. So he decided to come help me find it, and I'm glad he did, because if he wouldn't have uh, come help me find that, I would have never found it. It's uh, in a really thick area right here. You can't really see in or out of it. So I'm glad he come to help me. Shout out to him and go check out his channel at The Bluff Dweller. He does all kinds of stuff like this, finding arrowheads and stuff, him and his buddy. Anyways, go check him out. And I'm going to start off by saying I'm not going to tell anybody where this is at. It's kind of like a little family secret kind of spot where nobody else really knows where it's at. Don't want people coming down here and tearing it up or anything like that. We want to preserve it. And that's kind of what I'm doing here today is taking a bunch of pictures and getting this on video because it, a lot of it is fading. It's fading pretty fast. Uh, I was told it's probably been down here about 1,500 years. So it's pretty old and it's not going to last very much longer. So I'm glad to hear. I'm glad I'm here to document this before it's gone. And uh, don't want anybody tearing it up so nobody asks where it's at. Now the, that all that said, uh, let's check out all the cave paintings. This is what the cave looks like from the outside. It's not much. It's just kind of one little rock. Well, not really little, but just one rock sticking out in the middle of the woods. I was told this might be a ceremonial spot because of all the paintings and stuff on the walls. A lot of it has chipped and fallen off and stuff like that over the years. But it still has some pretty cool paintings on it. I'm not sure what a lot of them mean, but we're going to check them out. A lot of this red you see on the rock is the paint. And I was told they make, they make it out of a certain kind of stone. It's a red stone. They grind it up and mix it with oils from other stuff and smear it on the walls and it stains. And So uh, this one right here, I'm not sure what that really is. But to me, it looks like a stegosaurus. Let's see, it's got his head right here. Spikes. There's a leg. There's a leg. I don't know what that is. If any of y'all have uh, any idea what any of this could be, please drop it in the comments. I would love to know. And going up here, just above that, I'm not sure what that is either, but it looks like a hut or something like that. With more spikes coming off the top of it. There's another one. I'm not sure what those could be. Up above that, looks like there's another one. That looks like a donut, and uh, I'm not sure what that looks like. And maybe another little hut with some uh, something sticking out the top. I don't know. And this looks like an X, some sort of X. And these look like little scratch marks, maybe like animal feet or maybe little Native American hands. I don't know. And this one... Me and my dad call it the barbell. It looks like a barbell. There's a circle, a line, another circle. No idea what that actually could be. And I think that looks like a little dude. He's kind of like, yay, with his arms sticking out there and, sh and stuff like that. No idea. I don't have a clue what that could be. You can see a lot of the red staining on here where they just kind of, it looks like they just smeared it. There's no telling what this actually looked like a long time ago. And that one's cool. I think that could be a river or something. It's kind of a squiggly line. I hear somebody shooting a gun over there somewhere. Maybe that's fireworks. I don't know. It is the 6th of the July. A 6th of July, so... I don't know. Wait. There's the little barbell. Yeah, and here's the big one. See, you've got one end right here, bar, another end. And there's another thing that looks like a, maybe a cabin or something, or a little hut with something sticking out the top. I don't know. 
And there's one over here that's really neat. These right here, apparently uh, my dad told me a long time ago, uh, some people that study this stuff come down here and looked at it, and they said uh, that they have found them in other caves, I'm pretty sure, and they are called, uh, I think he said sky dragons, or something like that. But it kind of does look like a dragon or something, or a snake or something. See the head? This, and then maybe that's wings? I don't know. Maybe they were seeing some crazy stuff back then. Maybe dragons are real. And that looks like another one of some sort. I don't know. It's just, like I said the other day, it's hard to tell what they are. And they are a lot more faded than the last time I seen them. The last time I was down here was several years ago. And it seems like they're fading very fast lately. There's some other kind of lines coming off of it. And it looks like they just drew a whole bunch of straight lines. It's crazy. And I'm assuming a lot of this right here used to be painted as well. You can see a lot of the flat chunks on the ground. That's where it's all started to fall off over the years. And it just gets buried by dirt. And so there's no telling how big this used to be. Or how vibrant the colors were. It's pretty neat. And I'm glad I got to come down here and catch this on video and share it with people who may find this stuff interesting as well. And if you see something that you might recognize, let me know. I'm super curious to find out what any of this stuff is. I think my favorite's the little guy. Oh, there's a deer over here somewhere too. Yeah, right there. I think that's a deer. My dad thinks it's a deer anyway. That looks like his head, front foot, like he's got his legs stretched out, running. Two back feet and there's his tail. Maybe those are his horns. Or his horns and his ears. I don't know. What do y'all think that might be? Take a guess in the comments. Or if you actually know what it is. Do tell. There was something right there. Maybe it was another one of them dragon looking things. But it's just wore down over the years. Pretty neat though. Not many places where you can actually go see authentic Native American paintings like this. I wish there was a better way to preserve them. Well, I guess putting them on the internet is probably the best way at this point. As long as they're documented somewhere. Because I don't think they are documented anywhere else. Pretty cool. My belly's growling. I've been out here all day. Might have to go ahead and make a fire and cook up something for dinner. And just really cool. If y'all made it this far, thanks for watching and hanging in there with me. If I would have just hollered at my dad, he would have helped me find it way sooner than me just trying to find it by myself. So definitely go check out his channel. Bluff Dweller. They find all kinds of arrowheads and stuff like that. Him and uh, his friend Paul. He's a really cool guy. They both make pretty good, uh, pretty good videos. And uh, go check them out for sure. Get a back view a little farther away. You can see a lot of it. It's smooth up here. And a lot of it here has fallen off over the years. Kind of sucks that it's all going away. 10, 15 years from from now, it could be all gone. Pretty neat stuff. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm getting tongue tied today. I think I'm gonna go, oh, good lord. I think I'm going to make a fire right there on that pile of dirt, and then I'm gonna cook up some lunch. Man. English is hard.
I'm getting ready to make a fire so I can cook up something to eat. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little rock fireplace right here so I can prevent uh, catching the woods on fire. As I may have done that in a previous video, but we're not gonna talk about that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get some rocks and make a fire pit. Okay, I'm gonna start out with some of these dry leaves. Stick them down in here. I've already got more in there, not just that much, but give it a lot. Shouldn't take much to get them burning. As soon as I say that, it goes out. <clears throat> there we go. If I can keep those going. Everything is really dusty down here. And we'll start adding some small sticks in there to keep it alive. Don't need to make it too big because I'm not cooking too much. All I'm gonna be cooking today is a hearty uh, meal of one potato and a can of uh, Spam. Spam's always really good. Can't go wrong with Spam. Smoky. Get this thing going pretty good. And then I'll cut up the tater and the Spam. Might need some more leaves. Probably. No problem, there's not a shortage of those. This is pretty cool though, getting to make a fire here where the Native Americans did 1,500 years ago, probably even before that. Sitting here where they probably ate their meals. Well, I don't know if they ate their meals up here. This might be a ceremonial site or something like that. I don't know. But you get it. Dead gum, I think it went out. Leaves ain't burning very good. Come on, baby. Really? Everything's so dry you think it burn well. Really? Come on now. I'm going to play with this for a minute and see if I can get it to go. And uh, once I do, I will get back with you when we uh, start cutting up that stuff. There we go. Much better. I'm going to watch that for a few minutes. Make sure it's still going good. So I can uh, put my pan on there and get it hot. I'm going to peel my potato. Get my spam out and cut it up over there. Check it out. The little table, perfect. Got all my other junk over there. Pretty cool little setup, if I do say so myself. I keep hitting my head on this though. I got my head on and I can't see it and I keep bonking my noggin on there. And that ain't got no give to it, it hurts. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, I got y'all on table cam. I'm gonna go ahead and peel my tater, buck 110. The knife I always carry around with me everywhere. I'm not good at peeling taters. I don't do the whole pulling it back towards you and stuff because I've cut my fingers a bunch of times doing that. So I'm going to do it like a four year old. So leave me alone. 
Oh, there was a big chunk. Now it's too sharp. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna leave a little bit on there because I don't mind the skin. I think it's actually pretty good. I'm just gonna lop off some of it and half the potato in the process. You would think being out in the woods all the time, I'd be better at this. But no, there's some things that I'm just not good at. And peeling a potato backwards like that and not cutting my finger is something I can't really do. So. <laughs> there, now that I've butchered the crap out of that. Get out of there. I'm going to use my little pan from my mess kit here. And cut up my tater. I'm going to make country fried redneck taters over a fire with Spam. That's enough taters. Coons can have that. I ain't got much room in my little tiny skillet. Was gonna bring a bigger one, but even that little one's heavy carrying it around in my backpack all day. I got so much crap in there that I don't really need that I think I need to carry around with me. I mean, I'm sure if I got lost, I'd be glad to have all that stuff. But anyways, taters are cut up. Throw these couple pieces over there because me. Oh man, I think my fire almost is, is going out. I have to stoke it back up. And you know what? Get rid of a couple more taters. I don't need that many. Coons will come eat them. Scrape them into my little mini skillet. You know what? I'm going to leave them in this until the skillet gets hot. And then I'm going to put them in the skillet. Go ahead and pop this dude open. Always flames fat in my face whenever I pop that off. Go ahead. I guess I'll dump it in here on top of the tater for not. Cut me off a chunk. Put this back in the can. Cut a slice. Slice is boom. Another slice. Smells good. I haven't ate anything all day. I left at like 11 and it's, I think 6 o'clock. It'll be dark in about two hours. I'm going to have to hurry. Anyways, I'm going to go uh, stoke up the fire. Then I'll come back and put the pan on the fire, get it hot, and then I'll put this stuff in the pan and start cooking. All right. It's not getting enough airflow. There's zero wind today. Go. No sticks on there. Rock. Not yet. Okay. Skillet. Get it warmed up. Oh, nice. Needs to be a little closer. There we go. All right. That looks pretty good right there. Shouldn't take but a couple of minutes. That'll be all nice and warm. Then I'm gonna scoop my taters and spam up in there. It's pretty dark in this cave. I think it's probably getting warm enough. I'm going to go ahead and put my food in there. Go ahead and start with a piece of Spam. Oh, yeah. I'd say that's warm enough. I'm not going to be able to fit all that in there, but I need to start the potatoes. Because they're going to take a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Oh, wow. The pan got really hot. Potatoes are sticking. Okay. Where's my fork going? I've got a fork. I think it's in my little cooking bag I keep in my 
Yep, there we go. Right, all right. Better go with him and flip these. Flip the span. <clears throat> and it's cooking pretty well. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, about lost it. Uh oh. I'm gonna pour some of this juice in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Unstick them taters real good. Kinda. <laughs> I think I got a welding glove from work at, in the backpack. Might have to get that. hotter than it looks. Oh yeah, it's cooking up good. I actually got some salt and pepper in that little bag too, but man. This is pretty cool though. Coming out here where the Native Americans did a long time ago. Cooking right where they might have cooked one day. I actually think it is probably where they cooked. You can't see it on camera right now, but right up at the edge of this is all black right at the edges of it. And a lot of the times they would make the uh, their fires at the edge because if you get this hot, this rock in here really hot, it'll uh, pop and break off. And uh, that'd be really bad. We was actually poking around over here when my dad was here. We found some old charcoal in the dirt and stuff. We don't really dig out here because it's out of respect for the place and all. But my dad loves to arrowhead hunt. So if you really like arrowhead hunting and stuff, they find all kinds of really cool stuff. Go check out the Bluff Dweller. Him and his buddy Paul have a really cool channel. Worth checking out, especially if you like stuff like this. And they do camping and stuff, and my dad's always getting into some kind of shenanigans. He's always out in the woods. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook up for a little bit. Put a couple more pieces of spam in there, and then I'll put it on a plate, and we'll have lunch. And dinner, I guess, because I didn't eat lunch. It smells pretty good, though. It's making me pretty hungry. I heard a weird noise down in the woods. Hmm. Taters are kind of sticking to the pan. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> so is the spam. Note to self, put a thing of vegetable oil in your backpack. I had some in there from one of the, I think it was the fish catch, clean, and cook at the pond video. I took it out. I forgot to put some back in there. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Come on. All right, I think that piece is done. I'm gonna use this little doohickey for my plate. Get another piece of spam. Right in there. Okay. And these taters are sticking pretty bad. Not gonna have much of a tater left by the time I get all of it. Oh, bam, look at that piece of tater. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not the best chef in the whole world, if you can't tell already, but I try. And it's just fun doing this. Oh, there goes the tater. The coons will be happy tonight. See if I can go ahead and flip that. Oh, that's not sticking. There we go. Just need some grease and a bunch of other stuff stuck to the pan first. There 
There we go. Pretty fun stuff, guys. If y'all like stuff like this, uh, this is the pretty much all the stuff I do on my channel is stuff like this outdoors, hunting, fishing. So if you like this video, go check out the channel, check out some other videos, and like and subscribe. Okay, let that sit for a few more minutes. Then I'll come over here and put that last piece on. But while we're waiting on that, I'll show you some stuff that me and my dad found while we we're just poking around down here. Found some of this flint. It's got some pretty colors in it. A lot of black flint, which is what they make arrowheads out of if you didn't know. Used to anyways. And, uh, where the seashell go? There it is. There's a clam shell. And apparently they used to like to eat clams a lot. And there's no body of water anywhere around here. So this had to have been handled by an innate, a Native American almost probably a thousand years ago. We're probably the first people to touch this in a thousand years. Pretty crazy. Neat stuff. Try not to hit the head on that again. I think I've got three or four knots already. It is a very, very beautiful place out here. If I was a Native American 1,500 years ago, I would probably live right here too. I don't blame them at all. I think this is about done. Done enough anyway. I'm starving. So I'm going to eat it whether it's done or not. I don't guess you really have to cook spam. It just makes it better, so. Tater. Tater. Get all these taters. Get them out. I'm going to see if I can use this fork to get this off. Might be disastrous. There we go. Get this off, and I guess I'm going to sit it right here. Right there and let that cool off so I can pack it up and leave later. Got my spam and taters done. And go sit over here and have dinner. It is getting towards the end of the day. It'll be dark here in about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and eat my dinner. Pack my stuff up and get ready to go. Try one of these taters. I can already tell it's not done. It's pretty hard. Oh yeah, real crunchy. Crunchy but edible. I guess you can eat them raw. Grandpa used to. Spam. Oh yeah. Spam's where it's at. That's pretty good. The hell with them taters. Pretty good. Well, I had a lot of fun today. I didn't have a lot of fun the other day. Well, I did. It was fun walking around the woods. It's always neat to be out in the woods, and especially not at work, but... It's still been a lot of fun. Glad I got to come out here and uh, document this stuff. That'll probably be the last time anybody's able to. I'd, see, I'd say 20 years from now, 10, 15, 20 years from now, it's all going to be gone forever. And um, this may be the only a place on the internet or anywhere you can see that so pretty neat cheers i don't know if it's some crazy coincidence but something really weird it keeps happening down here today um every time i turn my camera on it'll not be recording then i'll, I'll walk away from it and i'll hear bling, and something keeps hitting the record button and turning the camera on it, it's done it multiple times just today since i've been down here i don't know like i said i don't know if it's a random coincidence or if there's something else doing something down here i, I don't know but anyways i picked up every single scrap of trash that i have left out that i that was down here that i brought with me I, there's not any trash left out here i'm going to be very respectful and not leave anything down here but those rocks where i burnt the fire 
I guess I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. I don't guess that really matters where the rocks are. I don't know. But uh, picked up all my trash. I'm gonna be very respectful. Not leave anything down here that I didn't bring with me, or that I brought with me. You know, you get what I'm saying. And uh, just in case there is some kind of something spirits or somebody that may be down here. Sorry, but going back in here. I'm going to leave a little peace offering. Rip this open like so. Pour this little pile of tobacco right here. There we go. Peace offering to the spirits or anybody who may be down here with me today. Thank you for letting us enjoy the day on this fun adventure. And thank you for letting us be down here. And you get to enjoy all this and see everything you left behind. And uh, we had an awesome time. So put this little piece of paper back in here. Go ahead and grab my stuff. And I think I'm going to call it a day. Just before I go, I'm just going to show you. Uh, there's this killet. It's still hot. I'm going to wait a few minutes before I grab that. I just tried it. It's still hot. But as you can see, no other trash anywhere. There's my bag and my stuff. All my trash is in that bag. I'm going to carry that water bottle out. I'm still drinking on that. But anyways, picked up all my trash. I'm going to leave it all nice and peaceful and beautiful like it was. And before I call it a day, I'm going to go ahead and give you one more look at the paintings. I don't want the camera won't focus very well, but there is maybe one of the snake things or a teepee or something. I don't know couple of those there is the little guy little guy there's the circle some sort of X on there the little hand marks where it looks like a little animal or something scratched paint on there there's the thing that looks like a river I don't know. I don't know why the camera's not going to focus. Anyways. There's that. Whatever that may be. Sky dragons. Whatever you want to call them. Pretty awesome. A lot of this has fell off. A lot of it won't be here. Almost none of it will be here. In 10, 20 years from now, I'm sure. So I'm glad we got to come down here and see this. Document all of it. Get it all on camera. Pretty awesome stuff, guys. I don't know about y'all. I mean, imagine if you're watching the video that you think it's pretty cool too or you wouldn't have clicked on it, but there's the deer tripping over rocks here. It looks like a deer. Tell me what y'all think that is in the comments. If you think it's a deer, some other kind of animal, tell me what you think. We'll call that the big squiggly line. What do you think the big squiggly line is? What do you think the little scratch marks are from? And do you think that's a little TP or something? And what about the X? Anybody got any ideas? Because I'm not sure. And the donut? Maybe that's a portal for where the aliens come to visit them. I don't know. <laughs> and that, that kind of looks like a dude's face. See his eyes. Two eyes. And he's got a helmet on. And the laser beams are coming off his head. So I asked for is a freaking shark with freaking laser beams on its head. Sorry. I get caught up in movie quotes. That was Austin Powers. If anybody got that? <laughs> really cool stuff, guys. Thank you all for coming with me on this adventure. Well, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you all for watching. And thanks for coming with me on this adventure. I had a lot of fun the last few days. We uh, did a lot of walking in the woods. Seen some cool stuff. Ended up uh, having to have my dad help me find this place. It's so out here in BFE in the middle of the woods. Anyways, thank you all for staying with me. If you like this video, 
go ahead and check out the channel. So we'll be posting a lot of videos like this. There are a lot of videos already on there. And uh, I'm still kind of new at the YouTube stuff. So uh, stick with me. And I will be putting out content almost every week. And I'll uh, be doing a lot of stuff just like this right here. And there's actually another cave I'm planning on going to. And it's going to be really cool. But uh, anyways, thank you all a lot for coming with me on this adventure. And uh, you all take it easy. I will catch you all. In the next video you know i was just kind of thinking on the way back on the long long walk back from way down yonder in the woods uh i was thinking about back to whenever i was recording well whenever the camera would be on and something would hit the record button and i didn't do it and it, whenever it was happening i didn't really think about it that hard and as soon as it would happen i would go back to that to that little piece of video and then delete it and as I was walking back up I kind of thought man I wish I would have saved a couple of those back whenever whenever I was back away from the camera and it kicked on and started recording me doing stuff whenever it did that I would just go over and be like oh that's weird and then you know I hit the button and then go back and delete that video but now I kind of wish I would have saved a couple of those so I kind of had proof that I was not you know back when I was talking about that I'm not just lying I have no reason to lie about that and Maybe it was something paranormal happening. I don't know. I kind of wish I would have had saved a couple of those little clips as proof. And I would have thrown it in right after this. But like I said, I wasn't thinking about it at the time. And I just stopped it and, and deleted it. And then didn't think about it. And then it, it kept happening over and over again. And every time I would do it, I'd be like, dang it, why is this doing that? And I just got to thinking about it. That's the only place it's ever happened. And it happened a bunch of times in a row. So... I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. But anyway, guys, I gotta get home. See y'all later.